Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, like subscribe, and share to help support our channel. If you have not already done so, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one pre- and post rv planning tool for the dinar and cryptocurrency communities. Also, pick up your free blockchain-based secure Brave browser, and get paid in crypto to surf the internet today. There are many different ways to make money in crypto, the Brave browser is one of the easiest. Both the links are in the description box below this video. First article of interest for today, the fall of the Iraqi dinar against the dollar scares the markets and citizens, and warnings of the continued decline. After the stability of the Iraqi dinar exchange rate against the dollar years ago, the past few days have recorded a significant decrease in the value of the local currency. The exchange rate of $1 increased from 1,200 dinars to 1,280 Iraqi dinars, amid warnings of the continuation of this decline due to the curfew imposed by the Iraqi authorities as part of measures to confront the outbreak of the corona pandemic, which stopped the Central Bank of Iraq, which was pumping an average of $140 million per day to maintain the value of the currency. A source from the Central Bank of Iraq who preferred not to be identified, said that the dollar exchange rate was affected by a rise due to the interruption of the currency auction, as well as a result of the curfew, and the desire of people to exchange their Iraqi money with dollars, as well as the continuing need for import in relation to traders. According to the newspaper, The New Arab, he revealed that the central bank is in the process of taking quick steps with the government crisis cell to confront the corona epidemic, with the aim of finding a way to restore balance and provide hard currency in the market, stressing that the rise will be temporary. He added, the last auction for the sale of the currency was on March 16, and it is expected that the current measures will succeed in reopening it within days. The source pointed out that the cash sale price by the Central Bank of Iraq in the last public auction was 1,190 dinars, while the price approved in banks is 1,200 dinars per dollar, before the Central Bank stops pumping currency to the Iraqi market, because of the curfew. He pointed out that the Central Bank will try to pump more hard currency to the market but the value of what will be pumped will be less than the hard currency entering the central bank as a result of the low oil price and the state's need for adequate reserves of hard currency. He said, the task of keeping the dinar rate at the current stage will not be easy, but it is within control. For his part, Adel Al-Ansari, director of one of the banking offices in Baghdad, said in an interview with The New Arab that despite the curfew imposed in all of Iraq due to the outbreak of corona, the demand for buying dollars is very large, because of the Iraqis' fear of the collapse of the dinar. He added that, some of the owners of capital bought the hard currency in anticipation of any emergency, due to the cautious anticipation experienced by the Iraqis in light of the coronavirus and the escalation between America and Iran and armed factions in Iraq. In an interview with Al Arabi Al Jadid, economist Salam Smisam said, The rise in the price of the dollar against the dinar is not a result of supply and demand, and what confirms this is that what is happening now is that the amount of dollars in the provinces comes to Baghdad and is sold again by adding profits. It ranges from $7 to $8 per $100. She added that, What is raising the alarm today is that the market is not subject to control by the authorities concerned with monetary policy, noting that, the Iraqi dinar is in an unenviable position due to the low oil prices of less than $26, in addition to the accumulated crises that it is exposed to. The Economy Next Article of Interest The Iraqi Foreign Ministry receives a message from its American counterpart. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced today, Sunday, that it has received a letter from its American counterpart. Minister Muhammad Ali al-Hakim said, The State Department received a letter from the U.S. State Department proposing to conduct negotiations based on the concepts presented in the strategic framework and to conduct a comprehensive review on the future of relations in the economic, cultural, commercial and security exchanges bilateral and regionally. 
he added. We welcome this initiative and we will set an appropriate date. Next article of interest. The end of physical cash is an inevitable reality and not to be feared, says Union Bank President. The chief executive and president of Union Bank of the Philippines, Edwin Bautista, has predicted that the coronavirus pandemic will drive banks to fast-track the shift toward digital currencies, therefore abandoning the use of physical money. Bautista said that the outbreak has caused rising demand for online banking services, thus pushing banks to rethink and revise their digital strategy. Bautista mentioned that the pandemic has provoked the need for all banks to go digital now. The executive predicted the beginning of the end of physical cash. Will hard cash disappear? Many technology cheerleaders like Edwin Bautista believe so. But how will that be possible? Cashless societies are already a reality. A cashless society may sound like a huge transition, but in many places across the globe it is already a reality. Several jurisdictions across the world encourage their citizens to conduct all financial transactions electronically. Governments are seeking to limit the use of cash to enable the authorities to more effectively prevent tax evasion and control over the economy. Advancing technologies especially smartphones, have driven the rapid growth of the digital economy and enabled non-traditional financial solutions to explode. Across Europe, account-to-account -account payment services are increasing rapidly. Singapore, Australia, and Canada are among the countries, which are licensing non-banks to initiate mobile and digital payments. In Asia, China's ally Pay and WeChat which mix high functionality and low-cost transaction features with lifestyle and shopping features are already leading the way. In the United States, credit card transactions are increasingly being used, 62.97%. In Sub-Saharan Africa, the mobile money operator model, where customers transfer mobile phone credit becomes increasingly strong, led by Kenya's mobile telephone banking service, M-Pesa that has since expanded to India, Albania, South Africa, Romania, and Afghanistan. Furthermore, governments of Latin American countries encourage citizens to use electronic payments to eliminate corruption. The coronavirus outbreak has had critical consequences that have led to the disruption of business activities in several economic sectors. The crisis is forcing various institutions across the globe to rethink of cash. The germy surface which most consumers touch each day. The concern over cash amid the virus may drive adoption of contactless and mobile payments options range from Google Pay, Samsung Pay, and Apple Pay, where consumers use smartwatches or smartphones to credit cards with the NFC chip and to pay in stores. The virus is wreaking havoc to the world's economy, with central banks in Lebanon, the US, Egypt, and many other nations have imposed cash limits. South Korea's central bank mentioned that it was taking all bank notes out of circulation for two weeks and even burning some to minimize the spread of the coronavirus. It follows China's massive initiative involving deep cleaning of potentially infected cash notes with ultraviolet light and high temperatures and even destroying some. Besides that, the Louvre Museum in Paris banned cash due to the virus outbreak. The world's largest museum decided to accept only credit card payments to make employees feel more comfortable about returning to work. Various governments already encourage citizens to adopt the use of electronic payments so that to control the spread of the coronavirus. New payment systems using technologies such as credit cards and cryptocurrencies already allow consumers to make even small purchases using ubiquitous smartphones and other portable devices. These have already brought the dream of a cashless society within reach. The future of the financial sector relies on blockchain. The future of the financial industry relies on the whole shift from a physical to the digital world. Banks and companies across the world are increasingly adopting blockchain technology on a large scale for payment settlements. They no longer require heavy clearing and settlement systems for international instant payments. The use of blockchain among companies and banks enables settlement of international payments in real time. Blockchain technology enables both big and small businesses to improve short-term liquidity. Moreover, 
Central banks across the globe are increasingly adopting blockchain for faster international payments and therefore manage liquidity far more effectively. Blockchain has become a significant tool that provides particular insights into how the coronavirus spreads. Financial institutions and companies are keen on deploying blockchain to enable mobile payments, electronic payments, and cryptocurrency transactions through digital wallets. With the rise of transactions happening by digital payments methods, the number of cash transactions is constantly declining. A cashless society is becoming inevitable. At some point in the future, governments would have to eliminate reliance on cash. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest videos are posted. Be sure to check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I also update on those platforms as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Exchange Planner Companion before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program, if you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold. You risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. All of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video. Go check them out, knowledge is power, using that knowledge is powerful, over and out for now, the Denarian.